Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 27th, 2023. Well, doggone it. We had a pretty rough day yesterday, didn't we? Uh, bears came in pretty harsh, pushing down through additional support levels, um, really making a mess of the index charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday, excuse me, for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, the purpose of these videos is to look at the markets without a bias, not trying to uh, make any necessary opinion about the market, but to look really closely at the price action of the chart and see what that is telling us about where we might go. First off, if we take a look at the diamonds, obviously pretty bearish day yesterday, and here in the pre-market, we're looking for a bit of a gap up at least at the moment. So if the bulls can maintain that bullishness today, where could we go? Well, I think one of the first things we might look for is to see if we can break back through somewhere in the middle of this. You can see our tails in here kind of oppose each other. Um, uh, the wick and the tail oppose each other. Maybe break into the er this area up in here if the bulls can continue to push to the upside today. That would be kind of a first area to watch if they can push on through there. Then we do have that chance that we can come right on up and test this major level of price resistance in the chart. Now keeping in mind that would be a massive move and maybe not likely to be something that would happen in one day but over the course of a couple three days unless something significant happens in the market if the bears however were to reverse and there may be reason why that why that could occur with some data coming out today that possibility that we could push back lower one of the things we always have to watch for when we've made a low like this is a retest of that low. So it's not out of the question to think um, that we could push back down, retest that low before catching a little bit of bounce. But if that low were to break, well, where do we go from there? I'm going to suggest if we break this level right in here, and you can see that's a fairly significant level, we're probably going to come on down. There's a little bit of level right through here. You can see we're catching some of these areas right here in the chart. We might catch that area in here as the next low. If not, well, you can see the next levels down just get more and more painful. Uh, for the bulls in the market. So watch that closely. Now if we take a look at our moving averages, clearly we have had a pretty ugly sell-off here. A failure at the 50-day moving average moving straight down through the 200-day moving average and we're actually testing our 500-day moving average. One of the things you want to note is that our short-term moving averages with the 50 and the short-term moving averages are moving sharply down now creating that ugly situation as we rally back we will be looking for those resistance levels above now keeping in mind if we do rally back remember we need to be looking at that as a relief rally only at this point in time until we can start breaking through some upper areas of the chart or even put in some kind of a higher low that gives us more upside opportunity to be looking at and maybe a little bit more hopefulness. Right now, any bounce back up has to be looked at as simply a relief rally. And as we approach resistance, it may be the next setup short. If we take a look at our SPY, well, very much the same thing. The SPY had a pretty darn rough day, and you can see I've still got this line turn, change green here, or turn green, because we haven't rallied back to test that as a resistance yet. Resistance yet, we just fell straight through it, 
and dropped to this next level of price support. Now I had mentioned yesterday we might come into this level or we might come into this level and I also mentioned that there isn't much support here. We did end up holding here and we are trying to bounce this morning but just keep in mind there is not a lot of price support in this area. If for some reason those bears were to find um, additional reason to push on through this level well i want you to notice that the next level of big price support in the spy is way down here and that's going to put us down here by that 200 day and 500 day moving average and at this point in time you can see it's really not that much of a stretch to move us down into that area so that being said if we look at our charts here if the bears were to push on through this area and break yesterday's low then watch for an area down here um, as a possibility that we could move and we could move there fairly swiftly because there's just not a lot of price support in that chart in between if the bulls find inspiration here today and bounce off of this area then once again I'm going to suggest we look at a break of that level right there notice we've got our close and our um, um, open of the last couple of days right in the that area well I should say both opens of the day right in that area so push through there would be a good sign of some follow through to the upside and then if we can push on through we're going to look at some levels right in here notice that um, August low is something we'll need to cross back up through and then beyond that of course we're up here in that bigger level of resistance keeping in mind we still have an awful lot of work here to do our moving averages are coming down that's going to create some additional resistance as we move back up so just be really careful on the rally back don't don't be thinking that we're just going to zoom straight back to the top unless something major changes in the data coming our way and there certainly is some data that uh, could still provide us that uh, that bearishness or turn us around dramatically to move to the upside let's take a look at our qqq now our qqq still the strongest of the indexes but as you can see it did join the rest of the indexes yesterday in breaking that august low um, this morning we're trying to bounce right back up and recover that area so that would be a good sign here for the bulls if we can push back up through there if the bulls can continue to push to the upside here let's look for a level right across in here someplace for that next target above to see if we can push through there and if we can Let's start looking up into here and then, of course, right up into this next area of resistance in the chart. If the bears, however, find that inspiration, well, we're going to look for a retest of this low first. And of course, if that level fails, then we're going to start looking for kind of the same situation here uh, that we see in the SPY. Not a whole lot of price support in this area so a little bit more right in there would be the next target i think and then beyond that we're looking at a pretty substantial pullback in the qqq in my opinion now if we take a look at our uh, moving averages obviously pretty substantial failure in here on our 50-day moving averages those moving averages are starting to decline we're still a long ways away from our 200 day but one of the problems that we have in here is just that the QQQ is the most overextended in the market with our PE ratios in the Q, uh, QQQ way out of proportion so you could see if we do have that failure that pullback into here would really be a painful move and hopefully that doesn't occur but we will want to be watching carefully in case we stumble if we take a look at our IWM now IWM the most bearish of the indexes at the moment obviously just really not feeling very healthy here pushing down through that next level of price support I know everyone was probably thinking there Campbell there's no way we're gonna move down there and then boy we just went right on down there and um, bounced through that um, support level you can see this morning we're making a, an attempt to try and recover it so if the bulls can do that let's first look at this level right here to see if we can recover 
that level of price support in the chart. And if we can and we can push on higher, then let's look for some areas right up through here as that next level of resistance before we come on up. See if we can test that bigger area of price resistance in the chart. If the bears, however, find inspiration today, look for a retest of the low of yesterday and i think the next level of price support in the chart there might be a little bit of support right through this intermediate area if i pull this back and this is big areas of price support and resistance a lot of congestion in here kind of kind of messy so there might be a level right in there that we could hold on to if the bears continue to push lower if that were to fail i'm going to suggest that we come all the way back down here into some of these lows if that were to fail um, our moving averages in here obviously very very bearish we're well below our 200-day uh, moving average notice that our 34 exponential moving average is just about to cross down through the 200 the 20 day moving average about to cross down so any rally back in here has to be looked at as um, a potential to um, add to a short position if um, we start seeing those moving averages cross over back to the downside not a good sign for the russell um, let's take a look at our vix our vix um, extended yesterday with a little bit of fear I don't think this is full on panic um, just yet. We don't see that energy in it just yet of a full on panic move, but it is significant that we're breaking up here um, in, in those 18 handles. I think we're gonna have to get up around the 20 handles before we really feel that major pinch of fear. But that being said, what we are looking at here in the chart is we're looking at a break of the downtrend. We had this little teeny tiny uh, higher low in here extending to the upside. So now we're gonna be watching this closely. If the relief rally can come into play, rest or pullback in here sets up the possibility of the next higher low. And I think that's where the real fear would come in is if we pull back a little bit and rest but then see that extend to the upside if the bulls are going to take over from here and really start pushing us to the upside what we need to see is we need to see some of these levels starting to break and seeing that confidence in the investor that um, hey we're we're out of the woods here for the time being right now i think the investors are a little bit shaken um, on this because they they had bought so much into the narrative by the talking heads that there was going to be no problems no more interest rate increases and nothing but i think they're really starting to buy into the fact that hey it's still a possibility that could um that could continue um seeing those rates go higher let's take a look at our uh, t2122 now our t2122 continues to be our best hope of a relief rally and i mentioned yesterday that possibility that we can double test down in here before we bounce and we still have that potential that we can linger there's pr plenty of evidence over here where we can linger in a low area of the market for a little while but i do think t2122 is telling us that we have a pretty good chance of at least a relief rally coming into play at any time assuming the data doesn't continue to pile on for uh, more selling or more pressure in the market so noticing in here and, and by the way uh, this indicator cannot go below zero can't can't do it um, so we're we're close to the bottom here we're scraping along bouncing along the bottom of the ocean if we can get anything in data that provides us a little bit of relief we might get that move going to the upside and you can see we've got plenty of upside room to move if that were the case if the bears find more inspiration just note that we're running out of room to move to the downside we're we're just so overextended but because we have that really light support area in the spy and the qqq around that middle range that could tell us that even though our t2122 is not showing that opportunity to drop we could still move sharply lower in those two indexes um, through those support levels uh, to the major support. 
if that data continues to be ugly. So watch carefully for that. Now, if we look at our T2108, T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average continued to move lower yesterday. We moved back down into this level here. There's some price support in here. 20% of our stocks holding above the 40-day moving average. That's awfully bearish. And that also gives us that hope that maybe we can catch a relief rally. It doesn't mean we zoom all the way back up. We start looking at resistance areas in the chart that we could potentially test as we move back up. But watch that carefully here in um, in this if we can find some support and finally catch that relief if we don't i want you to notice we we're not at the worst here and what we've seen we could certainly come down into these areas of the chart and test there if we continue to uh, kind of feel pretty bearish data that's rolling into the market our T2107 in a very similar circumstance you can see we stretched on down 37 percent of our stocks above the 200 day moving average we're still dealing with this big old head and shoulders top in here and that possibility if the bears keep pushing you can see we've got some support levels down in here that we could test still before we make that bounce to the upside so don't rule out that possibility that we could still go lower at the same time this is a very bearish condition here in t2107 and would suggest a relief rally should be coming at any time so watch carefully for that our t2101 unfortunately didn't help us out yesterday it extended in that move yesterday so showing that our market breadth is coming in on the sell wave it's not really coming in on the buy wave of the market. Now, the good news is, is, as you can see, we're pushing up here. We've been respecting this downtrend here for some time. So if the relief rally can get going, maybe we start pulling this back a little bit. But what we really want to see, what you want to see happening is if the relief rally comes in, we want to see it strong enough that our breadth actually expands and pushes out. If the breadth is contracting during uh, the rally, that doesn't give us a whole lot of hope that the bears aren't going to continue to stay bold and keep pushing. So watch carefully here on T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar. Well, we've got some issues here that we're going to have to deal with that I know um, have that potential of moving us pretty substantially. First off, we're going to have to deal with durable goods orders here. This one, well, we've got mortgage applications and or mortgage applications have been a little bit of a problem for us here recently. Last time we saw those mortgage applica applications come in with a big increase in um, refinance, which was kind of odd to me. And, and, and then I got to thinking about it. Well, one of the reasons we might see the refinance is the consumers have tapped out their credit cards. And so my guess is that they were going in for refinance to try and uh, find some more money uh, by leveraging uh, their equity in their home. So um, we are seeing the, the consumers being strained, I think, and we'll want to watch that closely. Now, durable goods orders are going to be really important. If we look at the consensus in here, well, this may be a hopeful estimate, as you can see. Consensus is looking for a negative 0.3. It was negative 5.2 last time. And from some of the data that we've seen here um, this week, um, the consumer seems awfully weak. So it's possible we could miss on this. If it comes in like this, that's an improvement and we could gain a little bit of extra oomph for the bulls there if that are, if that's the case you want to notice that x transportation month over month is looking for a decline so uh, pr pretty good chance that this number moves us it could be bullish or bearish kind of keep an eye on that um, at 8 30 this morning um, an hour before the market actually opens could reverse this um, early bullishness or it could make things uh, much more bearish or I mean much more bullish if the number comes in good. Um, State Street Investor Confidence will be coming in after that. Not likely to move the market, but it is important to take a look at what the investors are feeling. 
petroleum status is going to be another very important number today as we've seen our oil prices um, stretching a little bit higher yesterday as that pressure continues to build on oil if we start seeing our supplies continuing to diminish um, here in the United States don't be too surprised as those oil prices move up that has a negative effect on the market and of course it's not on here we've got some bond auctions uh, going off and those have been problematic for us but the good news is our two-year bonds are pulling back this morning relieving a little bit of that pressure that's helping us maybe bounce back up so watch some of these bond auctions today but the thing not on here that's going to worry the market is the fact that we have a pending government shutdown we have until friday at midnight for Congress to come to some agreement to keep the government open on October 1st. So we're going to have to watch that pretty closely here. We've got a lot of work to do to get that done. All this wrangling is not helping. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market based on that. So remember, despite what some of these numbers are, well, just that uncertainty um, about that government shutdown could keep us a little bit on the bearish side. And remember, as we move into Thursday, well, uh, we get through these numbers, we're going to be immediately thinking about what that GDP, what those jobless claims are going to be on Thursday morning. So just be prepared. We are not done this week, and we still have a personal incomes and outlays. The Fed's favorite number, the core PCE, that actually increased last time. Watch that close. Be prepared. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today. In our earnings calendar, we do have a few things that could help us out here today in earnings or hurt us um, with a few notables. We're going to take a look at um, CNXC. CNXC will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. Obviously, very bearish chart. We need something in here to inspire that higher, so watch that closely. Um, we've got um, FB Fuller will be reporting today. Jefferies will be an interesting one to watch. It's one of our first financial service um, numbers to come out. Um, so watch that carefully here to see um, if it's going to respond higher or lower today in the earnings. Um, this afternoon we're going to hear from uh, Micron. Micron um, has been dealing with this price resistance but holding in this upside trend. So a good earnings report might be just the thing we need to kind of push that out and maybe get tech going here again, relieve some pressure. If it happens to miss, however, and breaks that trend, it could be a pile on here that we don't want to see. So watch that one carefully after the bell today. Uh, PAYX will be another one reporting today. Looks like it's already gapping down and trying to push back up here in the pre-market. And WOR as well um, will be reporting today. If you guys remember, we had Costco on the list yesterday. Costco reporting after the bell yesterday. And although they beat on the top line estimates, they um, kind of disappointed in their forecast with the weakening cons consumer. And now we've got a problem in here. And I mentioned yesterday that this might be very telling as to the strength of the consumer. That may not bode well for that durable goods order this morning. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, do me that favor. Click the thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. We still have a lot of folks watching the videos that don't do that, but I really do appreciate it if you can take the time. That helps an awful lot. When you um, um, do those things, it helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much, though, to everyone who does take the time to share these videos out on your social media feed to um, um, provide that um, input, keeps the engagement with the channel high, and that helps significantly, significantly in keeping the channel growing. Thank you so much, everyone. 
Let's take a look at a few stocks and I'm going to go really quick on these because you've seen these before. We're continuing to see some bullishness here in KHC and although it's pretty muted in that move, it is very bullish. It's nice to see some of those bullish charts moving to the upside here in the market when we've been so bearish um, overall. So KHC is definitely one you want to be paying attention to, uh, looking pretty good, kind of bucking the trend of the market and maybe that bullish opportunity opportunity to be watching here in the market. I keep mentioning these stocks in uranium and they continue to move to the upside looking very, very strong. My initial alert was in here on this, just nice little consolidation move over to trend and then pop up we go. Continuing to move up, a little rest or pullback in here is probably due. Don't be too surprised if that has to rest in here. Keep an eye on CCJ. Keep an eye on UUUU. Keep an eye on URA. All very, very strong. Um, a couple of the places that, uh, well, we're starting to see a little bit of uncertainty coming in uh, to the market would be in some of those um, retail stocks. But our uh, Rivian is trying to come back here. Rivian broke some support here in the chart bouncing down, but we're getting a nice surge back up. A rest or pullback in here sets up a possible higher low. So watch that carefully. That might be what we're looking for if we can catch a higher low. If it doesn't catch a higher low and we react negatively to this resistance and we push back, that may be your potential short following along the downtrend here. So watch carefully in here. This is trying to make a decision on Rivian worth keeping an eye on. Of course, we're going to have to continue to pay attention to these oil sector stocks. Um, oil sector holding in support levels um, all over the place here in the market. If we get those numbers today, not good for us. Um, seeing um, uh, declines in that petroleum status, we could certainly see these push off of these support levels moving on higher. So watch that. We also have the chance with bonds pulling back a little bit today, we might see a little bit of weakening in the dollar. That would also help those prices to move up. Take a look at stocks like CF. This has been very interesting to see something in the ag sector moving higher, testing resistance levels in the chart. It tried to break through there yesterday, just couldn't get it done. I would suggest that this might need a little bit more rest consolidation to see before we can see if that can pop through that area. But keeping in mind, this is a big pattern in here in this chart on CF. Whoops, there we go. Big pattern in here. If we can pop through there and hold, and it may need some rest up here, well, I would look for some good upside opportunity if that guy can hold in there. So watch that one closely. Um, I'm still pretty impressed with the way Walmart is just ignoring the downtrend here in the market, holding in here really strong. Saw some moves in a rig. We're starting to see some of the um, uh, moves in exploration, oil exploration as prices go up here on oil. Trying to hold a little higher low, obviously lots of resistance in this chart, but watch this area closely. If we pop through and hold, then there may be some pretty good upside coming in rig. And I would keep a close eye on some of these refiners as well. Valero holding in here and had a rough day yesterday pulling back with the rest of the market. But if you notice in here, if I draw a trend up through here, still holding in that possible upside trend. If we can recover or rest in this area, and there is still that upside opportunity that we can see in some of those refiners. So with that, guys, I'm running this video a little bit too long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I appreciate it. I hope you're getting something out of these videos and it's helping you with your daily routine in trading. Y'all take care. Be safe. See you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.